Shalom, Yasharala. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh Y, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. It's salutation, honor, and greetings to you, sincere brothers pushing this truth across the four winds. Uh, I'm going to get into this sit down about uh, mercy that descends upon man from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Most High extends that mercy to people that believe his word and have faith in his word. And when you learn these scriptures, you learn that faith is a gift. And for you to receive it, you got to be one of the Most High elect men from before time was created. So with that being said, man, I'm going to go into these scriptures, man. And um, When you get in your right mind and you get in this truth, man, you got to call out and ask the Heavenly Father to put in your spirit and to keep putting your spirit and keeping you a spirit of a uh, uh, a fervency where you don't be slothful in business in this truth and you gotta beg him for mercy you gotta cleave unto him unto his word according to uh, Sirach the second chapter and beg for mercy man and beg that you will in that precious elect, elect number from the beginning of time because man we need mercy like never before and in your prayer you know Paul commanded us to pray without ceasing Every time you pray, man, you, we're supposed to be praying for mercy and become prisoners of hope, hoping that we're in that elect number. But I'm going to start in Job 33, the 15th verse. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep followed upon men and slumberings, slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of men and sealed of their instruction. All right. Now, we're not talking about no regular Joe Sixpack nigga, man. We're talking about men of the Lord, man. And when we're in this wicked, perverse world, we were niggas. We, we were going off, man. You know, we, we were living at the heathens. But when you read 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, it says, If our gospel, gospel be hid, it's hid from them that are lost. When the Most High seal is instruction and make you want to take heed to his word, that's the most high putting the spirit on you to come to this world. We do nothing on our own accord, man. We are literally robots. That choice shit is bullshit. All right? The most high seal of the instruction. The most high put the spirit on you to do his good judgment. Okay? That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Because prideful men think they do things on their own accord. Prideful men don't thank you, how about Shema Washah, for giving them. I'm not even talking about great things, necessities, things we don't take as great, but they really are great. A roof over your head, shoes and socks on your feet, toothpaste, running water, uh, a job so you can pay your bills as a slave, you know, internet so you could study the things that apply to this truth. All right? Prideful men don't consider these things. But but uh, men of humility, men of uh, integrity, we all give thanks for everything to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right? He keeps it back his soul from the pit. Our people in this pit, they're dead men walking. They're comers to those pages. They're, they're better off as dead. They're physically alive, but spiritually, they're dead, man. They're dead men's bones, man. Our people is nothing but a big graveyard, man, the two-thirds. And his life from perishing by the sword. All right? He chastened also with pain. Of, man, that got to move. He also chastened also with pain upon his bed. And the people that he chastened is the one he loves. All right? Yeah, he chastened the two-thirds, but we talking about the leg man right now. He chastened the leg man. He lay sore stro strokes on the elect men. He scourged the elect men. All right? And the multitude of his bones was strong pain. So that his life abhorred bread and his soul danity meat. His flesh is a consumed away that it cannot be seen. And his bones that were not seen stick out. All right? Hold on. Let me get a precept. Let me get a precept for that. This is a... Uh, the state of Israel, man. This is the state 
of the men of the Lord before we came to the truth. This is Isaiah 1 and 5. All right. Well, what am I looking for? I think it's Isaiah 1 and 5. Oh, this is 5. I need Isaiah the first chapter. Yeah, Isaiah 1 and 5. And this is the state of Israel. I'm going to start at verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, for they have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, and they go away backwards. Now, this is the state of a person that lived like that. And you're you're in those shoes if you live according to American philosophy, westernized philosophy, Babylonian philosophy, all one of the same. Why should you be stroking any more? You shall revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. Our people are sick. And the whole heart faint. For the sole of thy foot, even to the head, is no sound is in it. If you're, if you're not sound, you're dead. You're sick. All right? But wounds and bruises, petrifying sores. Our people spiritually a bunch of Ebola patients. HIV patients, if you was able to look at them through spiritual binoculars. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. But I'm going to show you what being, when the Most High not a flower ointment, this is how we get healed. All right? This is Revelations 3. I need to go to about... Uh, all right. This is what I want right here. 3 and 17. Let me start at 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold trying to fire. And that gold is this word, sound doctrine, that thou mayest be rich. All right? This word makes, makes us rich. It makes us whole. It delivers us. And our great king is the word, Yahweh. All right? And white raiment, that thou may be clothed. We are clothed with the word, man. All right? And that the shame of thy neckers do not appear. And anoint thy eyes with thyself that thou mayest see. All right? This word is what heal us. This word is what put white raiment on us and nourish us and make us sound, man. All right? And our people don't have this word. Our people are a comatose patient. They're dead. They're asleep. All right? So therefore, the prisoners of hope, the elect are the ones that are getting awakened. And the Most High is putting sound doctrine on us. Like when you read, uh, I think there's uh, Ezekiel 37, that the dead bones stood up. All right. So I'm going to start uh, back in 21. Job 33 and 21, his flesh is consumed away that it could not be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. I mean, we were, we were sick. Let's talk about the elect. All of us. We were dead men walking. Yeah, his soul draw near into the grave, and his life to the destroyers. And this is how you, this is an Israelite man's estate when he's not living according to sound doctrine, to the word of Yahweh Shem Shah. This is the state of our nation because we are at enmity with our Heavenly Father, our power. If there be a messenger with him and an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto him to man his uprightness. And that's what the elect do. That's what these beacons of light in every city uh, do with these camps. You got men that are showing men um, how to live by upright conversation, sound doctrine. That's the lot of the prophet in these last days, seconds, and times. Then he is gracious unto him and said, deliver him from going down to the pit. That's how the Most High wake us up. That's how he deliver us. When we do his bidding, when we teach his word, when we learn his word. All right? When you make your body a living sacrifice. I have found a rest. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. All right? This is, the mo this is how the Most High give you mercy. This is how you attain mercy. He shall return to the days of his youth. And that's what's going to happen to the precious elect men. He's going to renew our strength as the eagle, man. We will run but not get weary. And what does that is this word. 
He shall pray unto Yahweh. All right. This word teach us to pray without ceasing. This word tells us to uh, be intimate with our Heavenly Father and have relationship with our Heavenly Father. And he will be favorable unto him. When you fear Yahweh Belshazzar and shall live according to his word, he's favor you. If you got a sick body, he heal you. If you need food, water, and raiment, he, he supplies thy needs, okay? And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render to unto man his righteousness. And our righteousness is as filthy rags, but when we uh, believe in our great king, Yahweh Shai, uh, Romans 8 and 1 say there's no condemnation for those who are in Yahweh Shai. You're made perfect. You're made whole. All right? His grace is sufficient for us. He look upon men and and if any say I have sinned and perverted that which was right and it profit me not, that mean if you if you repent, he would deliver his soul from going down into the pit and his light shall see the light. And let me get an uh, example of that. This is Second Chronicles 7.14. These are the men that the Most High showed mer mercy to. Second, Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people were to call by my name, his word shall humble themselves and pray. This is what we need to be doing to seek mercy and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will heal from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. All right. That's how you obtain mercy. We got to be in the spirit, in the spirit of, of begging the heavenly father to be merciful and gracious to us, man. Day in and day out. Okay. Verse 27. He look up upon man, and if any say, I have sinned and perverted that which was right, and in profit or not, he would deliver his soul from going down to the pit, and his life shall see the light. All right? And, the, and that light is the kingdom of heaven, man. That light is being in reality, rocking according to sound doctrine. All right? Our people can't see. Our people, look, we're in the the land in the valley of the shadow of death, where it's gross darkness, and the only beacons of light are these prophets on the highways and byways, week in and week out, pushing sound doctrine. That's how you can see. We need to see spiritually before we see physically. Lo, all these things work of God, Yahweh, oftentimes with man. This is the most high prescribed order. order. He deals with the lowly, the, hum the, hum the humble, those that seek his face day in and day out. And, rock, and live according to the doctrine. They don't just learn it, they live it. To bring back his soul from the pit. We're in the pit. We begging the Heavenly Father to deliver us from this motherfucker. America is the pit, man. This is death. Black culture is death. American philosophy is death. To be enlightened with the light of the living. And the, those that are the living is the precious elect. The hopeful elect. 144,000 men scattered across the planet Earth. One third of the nation of Israel scattered across the, pla the planet Earth. Mark well, O Job, hearken to me. Hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou says anything to answer me, speak, for I, die, I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me. Hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be asking the Heavenly Father to open up your understanding and uh, teach you this sound doctrine. So you could go be a light to the Gentiles and, and bring uh, righteous work for repentance. All right? Get Psalms. Get another precept. This is Psalms 136. Start from the top. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. We need this mercy. And this was King David, man. King David was a prophet. He seen into the a spear around. He knew that his nation was going to need mercy. That's why he wrote these psalms, man. He, he was looking at our day and, t day and time. All right? He was a man that was bowed down low, and he knew that the only way he could be redeemed and get a recompense was begging the Heavenly Father for mercy. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, the power of powers, for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endure forever. To him which alone do of great wonders. And a great wonder is for us to wake up and learn our nationality. All this 
after eon after eon this knowledge was taken away from us it's a great wonder when the most high endow you with sound endow sound doctrine from up high and give it to us man that's a great wonder the elites looking at this thing and like man we've took it from them we've kept them away from it and they're still getting it. the elites know that it's a great wonder but our people got to find out it's a great wonder for his mercy endure forever to him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endure forever to him that stretch forth out the earth above the waters for his mercy endure forever to him that made great lights for his mercy endure forever all right the most high just as deep as his vengeance this is in deep just as deep as his anger and wrath his mercy is just as deep for them that fear him alright let me get Luke Luke first chapter start of verse 47 alright I'm going to start at verse 48 this is Luke 1 and 48 for he have regarded the lower state of his handmaid all right, this is him talking to, Mer um, to Mary. For behold, from his forth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty have done to me great things, and his holy is his name. And as his mercy is, is on them that fear him from generation to generation. That's who acquire the mercy and the grace from Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That's the point I wanted to get him. His mercy is extended to them that fear him. And when you fear him, this is what he's going to do. He's going to, he, he's going to, he have showed strength with his arm. He have scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He have put down the mighty from their seat and exalted them of lower degree. We're the lower degree, the whole for elect. When you fear him, he's going to bring you up from your lower state. He have filled the hungry with good things. We're the hungry, man. We're, we, we're the hungry. We're malnourished in this society, man. But he's filling us with good spiritual things. And then that's going to metamorph into the physical. All right? And the rich he have emptied, he have sent empty away. It's talking about the other nations, the two thirds. He have hoped in his servant Israel and remembers of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. All right? You have to pray for that mercy. You have to fear Yahweh with all fear and trembling. That's why I say, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. Okay? It's all about fearing him to gain in that knowledge. It's all about coming to him, humbly, humbly beseeching him. And I'm going to leave off with this scripture in uh, 1 Timothy. All right, starting verse 12. All right, this is what I wanted. This first Timothy 1 and 11. According to the glorious gospel, blessed of Yahweh, which was committed to my trust. And I thank the anointed Yahweh Shah, our Meshach, who have enabled me, for he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. See, we do nothing on our own accord. That's why you got to pray to be the elect. When we go out here week in and week out, the most high put the spirit on us to do his good pleasure. All right, we do nothing on our accord, man. All that thing is a choice and you have a choice. No, man. The most high is men are robots. We don't have a choice to do this. It's just that in this movie, you, you, you are a prisoner of hope. And to stay humble, you ask the Heavenly Father, Lord willing this, Lord willing that. Bubba could shot this, Bubba could shot that. Please, please, please. All right? Who have before, who was before a blasphemy. We were blasphemers. We were abominable men before the Most High brought us out of this dark world into his marvelous light. And a persecutor and injurious. That was all us. That was the elect. But I, I obtain mercy. Lord willing, the most high, he, for you to have his knowledge, that's mercy. For the most high to sit with you is mercy. He's given us mercy, man. And you got to take hold to it and cleave to it and take advantage of mercy and grace when it's given and extended. Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. We did a lot of things ignorantly in unbelief, man. We were Gentiles carried away to dumb idols. When you were participating in Mardi Gras, you was an idolater. 
When you are uh, participating in Christmas and Easter, you are not an idolater, man. All right. And the grace and the grace of our Mashiach was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in the anointed Yahweh. This is faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that the anointing Yahweh came into the world to save sinners, who I am chief. All right? We are all transgressors, man. The most I say he didn't come from them that were whole. He came from the sick, the main. All right? How about for this cause? I obtain mercy. We are all, we all want that mercy. We all need that mercy, man. That in me first, Yahweh shot anointed might show forth all long suffering. We're gonna suffer in these things. This truth, suffering comes with the territory. Suffering makes you better. It builds integrity. It builds patience. It builds endurance. For a pattern to them which should hear hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise power, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And that's what this thing is all about, man. Begging for mercy, doing the Lord's will, taking advantage of his grace and mercy, uh, seeking him week in and week out, day in and day out, pray without ceasing, and doing the worst without fear and trembling so we can obtain this immortal prize. This magnificent glory that he's going to give to his precious elect. So with that, we give infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation, honor and greetings to you, sincere brothers pushing this truth across the four winds. Shalom, Kwan Yashawala.